dual com inside from Castle Caretech and CSL. The equipment that comes with the dual com inside is the GPRS modem, the communications loom, mounting pillars, and the GPRS antenna. Fit the pillars to the control panel's metalwork as shown. Now mount the GPRS modem to the pillars. Connect 12 volts auxiliary to the GPRS modem, observing polarity. Then connect the GPRS modem to the panel with the communications loom. Finally, connect the antenna to the GPRS modem. To program Jillcom inside on a Castle Caretech Euro control panel, first you need to enter the engineer's menu. The default code is 1111. Enter the code. When the panel asks you to set or unset, press no and for false arm, press no again. Now the panel makes a tamper tone, enter the engineer's code again. Now you're in the engineer's menu. In the engineer's menu, press no key to scroll through the options. If you miss an option, you can press the B key to go backwards. Press the yes key to select a menu, and press no to return back to the main menu. Now press the No key to scroll through to the menu, set up DigiSMS. And press Yes. This menu, Program DigiSMS Calls, press Yes. And the first option you'll see is Disable DigiSMS and the option is set to Yes. This is a global switch to turn off all ARC and text messaging services on the panel. By default it's set to yes. Change it to a no to enable communications and press yes to continue. ARC details. There are up to four ARCs that can be controlled from a castle control panel. For dual com inside we need just one. So select one and press yes. You need to make this one active so press the D key to change that to a yes and press yes to continue. Now you need to choose the format. The default here is fast format. You want to change that to Dualcom. You can press the D key to scroll through to Dualcom. Or you could type in the shortcut 144 to jump straight to it. Press yes. You have an option now to ignore or not ignore PSDN failure messages. Select this and press yes to continue. Now select the ARC you're going to connect to. Again, you can use the D key to scroll through, or you can type in the number of the ARC if you know it, followed by yes to select it. Now type in the ARC number that was issued to you by Jillcom. And press yes. You can now select which channels you want to use on this Jillcom. You get 16 channels of fast format communications on a Jillcom inside. Here they're all turned on. If I want to switch one off manually, press the number and it will toggle it off. Press it again to toggle it on. To toggle channels higher than number 10, press the D key to move the cursor along and press the A key to toggle that channel off or on. Press yes when you've selected what you need. To repeat these steps for your resale channels. We're now ready to connect to the CSL download server. Press yes, and the keypad will show you the current signal strength. Press yes again, and the system will attempt to connect the connection to the CSL servers. This can take a few minutes. When successful, the display will show CSL download passed. Press yes to continue. Now press no, and it will return you to the beginning of the menu. If you press no again, 
The next option is to program the Digicom channels. If you wish to reprogram the Digicom channels, press yes. And for each of the 16 channels, you can program an event type. The defaults are 1 is fire, 2 is hold up device any, which is panic alarm, 3 unconfirmed intruder any, 4 final set all, 5 tamper any, 6 emit rearm any, 7 confirmed any, 8 mains failure, 9 global fault 2, 10 test ATS communications, and 11 through to 16 defaulted is not used. Press no again. We don't need to program SMS details. Press no again. We don't want to program three-way calling. Press no again and it returns you to the main menu. You can now press the A key to exit the engineers menu. You're ready to test the panel's communicator. If the download should fail, you'll get a message telling you so on the keypad. Press yes and the keypad will then tell you a phone number you can call technical support on for assistance.